Hey guys, it's me, Rue, a.k.a. Two-Foot Cripple Lady. <laughs> okay, today we are making pixels. And I know you're probably going to say, Oh, haven't we watched you make this enough already? <laughs> I know you have. I know. But today I want to compare and show the difference between how I, a disabled person, makes pixels and how my mother, a.k.a. an average person, makes pixels. And I also want to just show the difference between the pixel makers themselves. So as you can see in this graphic, this is the real pixel maker. This is my mother's very, very old pixel machine. They actually do not even make these anymore. But the reason why I wanted to show this is because one, I wanted you all to see how big this thing is compared to my mini dash pixel maker. One of the reasons why it's bigger is because you can actually make two pixels in this machine. In mine, you can only make one. And even the one that I make is a lot s smaller than this machine. The one cookie in this machine is like two of my cookies in my machine. <laughs> I also am showing you a picture. If you look in the bottom corner, I have another graphic here, and the reason why I have that is because when I was taking pictures for this video, I forgot to take a picture of my mom's pixel maker open. So I went online and I googled this exact pixel maker and found a picture of it so that I could show you guys what it looks like open. So as you can see, like I said, you can make two at once. And also, it is a tad bigger. Each cookie is a tad bigger. And the design is even a little different. Um, they did a really good job getting the design, a replica of the design on the Dash Mini Pixel Maker, but it's still not exactly the same as you guys can see. But it still works amazingly well. I love my Mini Dash Pixel Maker. It is amazing. But uh, also the difference between the big one is the big one gets extremely, extremely hot. It gets almost dangerously hot. Um, so you have to be really, really careful with one of these real Pixel Makers. And also, the real Pixel Makers are not made with the non-stick, um, I don't know, is that Teflon or what is it? Whatever the non-stick material is that they make most Pixel Makers now, um, including the Mini Dash Pixel Maker. The old version did not have that non-stick material. So because of that, they get a lot flatter in my mom's old machine than they do in my Mini Dash make, uh, Pixel Maker. And also in a lot of the Pixel Makers that they have out today. Which is one of the reasons why my mother still uses this one from like, I don't know, maybe the 70s. The newer machines just do not give you the exact same cookie that we are used to. They, they come a lot thicker in the newer machines. My family is used to a very thin pixel. So that is why we still use this old machine. But, the Mini Dash Maker does just as good of a job. It works with the 
I was a little, I'll be honest, when I first started using the mini dash maker, I was a little scared that our pizzel recipe was not going to work in it because our pizzel recipe is a lot different from an average pizzel recipe out there, including the one that Dash gives you in their recipe book. The one that Dash gives you, I'll be honest, I wasn't fond of that one. That one came more like just a pancake, it looks like. So, um, yeah, I don't recommend the Dash Pixel recipe. But most recipes out there are not like our families. They're either really watery and thin, or they're thick like regular cookie dough. And like when we use it, we use a spoon to scoop the dough and then just place it in the machine with the spoon. Now, most people's recipes, they do not do that. They usually will just take some oil on their hands and grab it with their hands, roll it in a ball, and put it on the, the pizzao maker. But our dough, you cannot do that with. You have to use a spoon because it's a lot um, thinner than the average pixel dough. So yeah, that is some of the differences. As you can see, my mother uses a table to make her pixels. I obviously use a board on the floor. <laughs> but as you can see, my pixels come out just as good as hers. I haven't tried making the dough yet. I'm a little scared to make the dough. I just don't trust myself to know what I'm doing yet. I, I just don't feel confident in my skills yet to make the actual dough. I feel like I'm going to screw something up. So, for that reason, my mother makes the dough and I just bake the cookies. <laughs> As you can see, um, there's a little bowl of oil next to both of our pizzao makers. And the reason why there's that bowl of oil is because you not only have to put a little oil on the pizzao maker, but you also have to put oil on your spoon because if you don't, the dough will stick to your spoon and not come off. Now, with my Dash Mini Pixel Maker, I can get away with it sticking to my spoon a little bit more than my mom can with hers. Because, like I said, my mom's Pixel Maker machine is very, very hot. So it cooks very, very fast. My Pixel machine, it cooks, but... It cooks at a more slow and consistent pace. Um, so you don't have to be as quick. I took like, I think my very first cookie when I first started baking these, I think I took like five minutes to get one cookie off my spoon <laughs> because it was stuck on there. And it still baked perfectly fine. Um, it was not overcooked at all. It was not undercooked. It, it came out perfect. And I really think that is the um, positive in the mini dash pixel maker. But yeah, guys, hope you liked my little pixel video. And, uh, Thanks to my mom for doing this with me, and it was fun, and I will be back probably at Christmas with more pizzas. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Oh, let me know if you watch this and know what a pizza is. Let me know in the comments. Okay, guys. God bless. Love you all. Bye.